Senator Brown was in town today to help announce the Western Reserve Transit Authority getting financial help from Washington. It will go for new energy and environmentally efficient buses. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti explains. Having already received one and a half million dollars in Federal Infrastructure Act funds, the Western Reserve Transit Authority is about to get a lot more to eventually replace the agency's existing fleet. Most of them will transition over time to low emission or no emission buses. That's what we're trying to do all over the state. The WRTA, which sees about a million riders a year, will receive more than $32.5 million over the next five years, and the state will be getting more than a billion. The process of replacing these buses is probably going to get underway in 2026, and it will be expensive. Each of these buses cost WRTA a little over half a million dollars. New all electric buses will be two or three hundred thousand dollars more per bus. We have at least ten million dollars of buses to replace in that five year time period. We also are hoping to do some infrastructure improvements. Directors want to expand this maintenance garage so mechanics can handle additional buses. They also want to upgrade what they call their bus barn to add charging stations for the electric vehicles when they arrive. The senator says the money will also cover costs of hiring additional employees and training them and ensuring the new buses are American made. My job is to help pass these bills and to make sure that this community is due the money that it deserves, but it's also my job is to make sure it's implemented the way it needs to be. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.